human behavior. <laughs> yeah. Right. I mean, think about it. it's something that we wrestle with all the time. You, you uh, myself, anyone who's in business, it's like we're constantly trying to stop ourselves from becoming comfortable. A question that a lot of people want probably want to know: uh, Does money buy happiness? <sighs> Last time I said this, I got some heat for it. Uh, <laughs> I was on Taylor's show and she asked me this question. The video went freaking off. Um, I, 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 I was a no on this one. I was a hard no on this one. Uh, it was Brad that hit me with the, the psycho, the, the freaking studies. Right. And what Dr. Brad says is there's a certain point where more money does bring happiness. Like if, if you're in a scenario where it, it's, it's real poverty and you are just scraping to survive and it's barely happening more money coming in that allows you to get out of that. Like I'm going to, you know, I can't do this or else you are going to get happiness from that. But then there's going to be a point in which more money doesn't bring any more happiness. Right. For that point on, I don't think so. I really don't. It's like, I've been 18 years old with nothing and loved my life and enjoyed skateboarding my friends every day. I've been a millionaire and, and, been lost and didn't know what to do. It, it, yeah. It's, you know, if money bought happiness, every billionaire would be, you know, the most joyful person out there. That's not yeah. what we see. We typically see the most successful people being the most broken and the most lost. And so I, I don't see the correlation uh, in that. Yeah. You know, I mean, I, uh, I completely, are you, I mean, let's look, let's look at, at you and I, am yeah. I any more happy than you are? I don't, I don't think so. I'm pretty happy right now. Right. But, <laughs> but, but if, if money, if money was the deciding factor, I should be more happy than you right now. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Why aren't we? Because there's things in our life that make us happy, right? Mm -hmm. We have family, we have friends, we have purpose. We have it, it, money. Just, I don't, I don't think it does it. Yeah. But I think you do have a good point it, to an extent, right? I mean, the family, the friends, the doing what you like, whether it be going out, playing around a golf or watching right. sports or whatever it is. Uh, if you're not able to do that, if you know, it might be because of money, you know, you might right. be working all the time, you know, and nine to five, you won't, you can't go out hang out with your friends or go to vacation. So at that point, yeah, I do think that money buys happiness because you would be more happy doing that than your job. So, I mean, yeah, to an extent, and then you know. But here's your pushback, though. Yeah. What's 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 forcing you to continue doing that job? Do you not have a choice to go do something you enjoy? You have the choice, right? Why don't why don't people why don't you think people um, make the choice to leave or or, of, or make a change? Because of comfort and security. Most people would rather have comfort and security than than happiness or potential of. of of life change because it's it's risk yeah right why i i, I human behavior <laughs> yeah right i mean think about it. it's something that we wrestle with all the time you, you uh myself anyone who's in business it's like we're constantly trying to stop ourselves from becoming comfortable mm -hmm. because when we become comfortable which our bodies are fighting for we flatline right 100 percent. so it's like it's all of us you just have to be aware of that issue but uh you know as you get older and you get married, if we have kids, you bring on more responsibility, there's, there's, you have a different type of risk that you're assessing because now you're like, Hey, look, if I take this risk and it, and it fails. It's only me who's, who's out there trying to eat. Yeah. Now, if I do, it's, it's my kids and my wife. So it's, you know, as you get older, it gets harder to do stuff like that. So you kind of got to figure it out. I think somewhat early. Uh, or 100%. there might be more risk. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's why I, I just try to take as many risks as I possibly can. Calculated risks. Right. Um, right. You know, but like when, when I was just starting out, I mean, I was trying everything. I didn't know what was going to work, what I liked, what I didn't like. I was literally trying everything from drop shipping, print on demand, Amazon FBA. Uh, I did affiliate marketing, content creation, and content creation sticked. And then, you know, right. I got really big into crypto, stocks, finance, everything like that. Um, and just inspired me to to create content.